Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, we will be reviewing the multi-purpose transition kit from an amazing video hype author called Sten Logo. This transition kit consists of various different kind of transition which are very complex and unique so I decided to make a review video on this one and also they have a discount going on until 8th of October so right now if you purchase it you will get it for around $25 and after 8th of October the price will be $33 so in case you like the transition kit you can go ahead and purchase it I'll mention the link down in the description so before we begin with the review let me just give you guys a quick preview of this hey I'm Stan Logo I present my new project multi-purpose transitions kit this is a powerful professional video editing tool that saves you a lot of time universality is what we're striving for when creating this kit this package includes 200 cool transitions everything is very simple Install our extension Motion Bro and choose the transitions from the convenient library with colorful previews right in your project. Change the length of each transition and add it to your project in two clicks. Daily customer support, regular additions, cool transitions, user-friendly extension, resizable up to 4K, multi-purpose transitions kit. Buy now. All right, so here we are in After Effects and as you can see, I have already launched the multi-purpose transition kit. Now you will need the Motion Bro extension to use this product, which is absolutely free to download. So I'll mention the link to the Motion Bro website where you can download the extension and then you can install it. It's very simple and easy to install. They have a complete tutorial to how to install, you know, the products on, motion, on the Motion Bro extension. So as you can see into the multi-purpose transition kit, we have some subcategories like design bumpers, design sliders, variation, figures, dynamics, energy, flashes, and glitch. Energy and glitch are one of my favorites. So I'm really excited to show you guys that one. And in the main composition here, I have some simple two videos on which we will be, you know, using the transition and let's see how it looks. So let's start from the design bumpers. To preview it, you just need to hover over a particular effect or the transition that you like. And as you can see the preview on the top, very nice and easy to navigate. It's going to save you a hell of time. So let's start from the design, design bumpers. So in the design bumpers, we have a subcategory of figures. So inside the figures, we have some really nice shape transitions to create some nice corporate look, maybe a nice trendy look to use this. Now, in this case, we have a really cinematic video. So in that case, we can use some with the isometric transition or maybe we can go with the rods, which is one of my favorite transition. As you can see, it looks very complex, have that nice dynamic animation. So let's actually see how to use this. So I'll move the time indicator right over here where the second video is about to start. And then I can just click on that transition to just launch that up. Now it's going to take a few seconds to load up and there we go. So now you can see we have a nice transition. So let's actually preview this really quick. And there we go. There we have a nice transition, very easy to use. Now, as you can see, we have some text inside the transition, which is very simple and easy to edit. So I can just double click to open up the composition. And there we have a settings tab where you can change different number of settings. So here we have the other settings where I can change the color to whichever color that I like. I can play around with the saturation as well, depending on what kind of look you want to go for. Then we have the invert color. So in case if you want to invert the colors, then I can just unhide this and then we can change the text. So I can type in any text or anything that I want. So maybe I can type in those motions. And there we go. It's going to get updated instantly. So it's very easy and simple to customize. I'm going to close this for now. 
and let's check out some other transition. I'm going to delete this. So let's go down to the scissors, which is one of the very cool looking transition, which you can use for your broadcast animation. Very nice and elegant looking animations. And you have different number of, you know, styles into one particular subcategory. So into the scissors, we have, as you can see, we have seven different designs to use from. Then we have the shade, which is again, very nice and sleek looking. Then we have the shade big titles which looks very interesting. As you can see, we have some nice text with the transition, which makes it look more, you know, nice and give that nice trendy look to this. You can see pretty cool. Then we have the design sliders, which consists of really nice dynamic looking transition, shape layer transition basically. So let's use some of this. So I'll go to this one and I'll just make sure the time indicator is right here and then click to launch up the transition. And there we go. So let's preview this really quick. As you can see, it's looking very nice and dynamic and you can change the colors again, total control over the colors. And as you can see, it looks very nice. Even this is a cinematic video, but it looks very nice with this. So yeah, you can use it really simple to use. I'm going to delete this. Then let's check out some other one. This is the line slides. Very simple and nice transitions. Pretty cool. Then we have the side slide, which are very basic and simple transition for some very, you know, quick montage if you want to create one. Then we have the design variation, which are really cool and unique transition, as you can see, for the, some nice sporty adventurous videos if you want to edit or use as a transition. Then this is a very cool looking one for some action sports as well. This is very cool. Now, this is one of a very unique transition that I have seen. I wish they had some more styles with this, but they just have one for that. But maybe into the next update, they will add more. No, not sure about that. Then we have some nice liquid animations as well. Colorful for nice fashion slideshow, maybe. Very, very interesting. Then we have the rectangles. Then we have some shapes. Now, this is one of the very interesting ones, as you can see, it looks very complex and it can make your, make your slideshows more appealing to the eyes, nice color combinations. You can obviously totally manipulate the colors, but still looks very complex. And believe me, if you're going to try to make it yourself, it's going to take you a hell lot of time. So you are definitely saving a lot of time. If you're using this, then we have the dynamic figures which is very nice. As you can see, very dynamic, have this nice displacement into that with the text as well. So you can replace the text as well. If you want to change the text to any text or maybe add a number or something like that, as you can see, very nice and dynamic. You also have a logo right here into the center. Then we have the broken effect, which is very cool. Interesting transitions. Actually, you can see, very nice. Let's actually try them out with this video. So I'll just move this and then click to launch up the transition. And let's preview this. So looks very interesting. Pretty cool effect actually. Okay. So this is very interesting to use on some nice, maybe B roll footages or a vlog. Then we have some circle transitions, circle horizontal transition. Circles, vertical transition, semicircle, horizontal, cool, semicircle, vertical. So we have different number of designs and subcategories inside of subcategories. So very cool transition. As you can see, it has kind of a glitch feel to it, but it is not a glitch one. Glitch one is yet to come, which is one of my favorites. Some nice complex glitches. Then we have some hexagons again, the hexagon horizon, uh, horizontal. Stars vertical, triangle vertical. Really nice one. Nice displacement right here, as you can see. This is pretty cool, as you can see that it has a nice wave coming out after the transition is complete. So it looks pretty cool. So as you see, it's it has very nice and unique looking transitions. So this is a pretty simple one, not that unique, but this ones are really good. Now let's jump into dynamics. Let's see. 
pretty nice and these are not that basic you know transition these are really really high professional and really difficult to create as you can see it has this nice stretchy feel to it this is the brush transition with some nice stretchiness into that as you can see it looks very interesting let's actually try that out with this video so i'm going to try this one let's see let's preview this as you can see so this is actually looking very interesting as you can see it looks very professional interesting kind of tearing effect with the brush very nice then we have some rotation which are some basic rotation pretty cool then we have the square shift which are some basic displacement transition so it's pretty simple to actually use them then we have the zoom wiggle which has this nice you know camera shake movement to this one of my favorite again and now we have the main energy transition which are pretty amazing as you can see so if i want to use this i can just click to launch that up it's called the explosion the fire explosion so let's check that out see pretty interesting kind of a harry potter it reminds me of that harry potter effect see it looks very interesting very unique i have never seen this kind of transition before so it's pretty unique for me and i like that and into the energy as you can see we have the fire lilac i think that is how it's pronounced then the fire orange this is perfect for creating some nice action montages then we have the org explosion which is again very cool then we have the part explosion it has a nice shock wave at the end which makes it look even more interesting and then we have some flashes transition we have some really nice light leaks kind of transitions which are pretty basic but looks interesting it has that nice small detail into that which makes it look you know very nice and finally we have the glitch transition which is one of my favorite cause this glitch transitions are very unique so as you can see it has that nice small detail into it so it definitely shows that a lot of work is went behind making this transition and there there are more than 200 plus transitions so 200 plus transitions for just 25 bucks is absolutely amazing i think as you can see very very interesting then we have the shutter glitch simple glitches but i think they are not that simple they are very nice so let's use this maybe with this one let's see what we have as you can see there is a lot of detail into this pretty cool maybe not perfect for this video but you can use them in your different kind of videos let's check out some side glitches very nice then we have some zoom glitch which is one of my favorite looks very interesting and it has that nice nice color you know color displacement with the glitch it's not just some displacement going on it has some nice variation with colors and stuff like that so i really enjoy that and i'm definitely going to use it in my vlogs and by the way if you don't know i have a vlogging channel by the name life looks like so you can go and check that out i'll put the link down in the description and that was a short and sweet review on the multi purpose transition i hope it helped you in some or the other way and if it did then make sure to subscribe to the channel i make tutorials for after effects cinema 4d photoshop illustrator well i don't make that frequent tutorials for photoshop and illustrator because uh, till the time i'm not able to find something unique that is worth sharing with you guys i don't really make tutorials on photoshop and illustrator because many of you guys were requesting me to create more tutorials on photoshop illustrator and cinema 4d trust me guys when i will come up with something new that is not out there already i'll definitely create a tutorial on that which will be helpful to you guys as well and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and before we wrap up make sure to follow me on instagram at the rate dope dot motions i'm super active on instagram so yeah i'll see you in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative